NVIDIA has become one of the most legendary names in the stock market. Once known primarily for making graphics cards for gaming, it's now the beating heart of artificial intelligence infrastructure. NVIDIA chips are in AI servers, supercomputers, data centers, and soon they might be in your car, your phone, and countless devices you don't even think about. The company has been on a meteoric rise, and investors around the world have been asking one key question. What's the next NVIDIA? What's the next technology wave that will change the world? And what companies will lead it? Many analysts and futurists believe that the answer lies in quantum computing. Quantum computing isn't just an upgrade to classical computing. It's not about faster processors or more memory. It's about a completely different paradigm, one that harnesses the bizarre, mind-bending properties of quantum mechanics to solve problems that would take today's most powerful supercomputers millions of years to crack. Problems like breaking cryptographic codes, simulating molecular structures for drug discovery, optimizing complex logistic systems, designing new materials, or even revolutionizing artificial intelligence itself. At the heart of quantum computing are quantum bits, or qubits. Unlike classical bits, which can be either zero or one, qubits can exist in multiple states at once thanks to a property called superposition. They can also be entangled, meaning the state of one qubit is linked to another, no matter how far apart they are. These properties allow quantum computers to process vast amounts of information in parallel, opening doors to computational power we've never seen before. So, who are the companies leading this revolution? One of the biggest names is IBM. IBM has been working on quantum computing for decades and has already released several quantum processors and systems through its IBM Quantum program. They offer cloud access to quantum computers, allowing researchers, businesses, and even students to experiment and develop quantum algorithms. IBM isn't just building hardware, they're building an entire quantum ecosystem, including software platforms, developer tools, and educational resources. For long-term investors, IBM's bet on quantum could be one of its most important plays since the birth of mainframe computing. Then there's Google, whose quantum computing team made headlines in 2019 when it claimed to achieve quantum supremacy, meaning their quantum processor performed a calculation that no classical supercomputer could solve in a reasonable time frame. That calculation itself was relatively trivial, but it marked a major milestone in the field. Google is continuing to invest heavily in quantum research, working on scaling up qubit counts, reducing error rates, and developing real-world applications. As part of Alphabet, Google has the resources, talent, and ambition to push quantum forward, potentially integrating it into everything from search to logistics to AI. Microsoft is another major player, but its approach is a bit different. Microsoft is focusing on a type of qubit called the topological qubit, which is theoretically more stable and error-resistant than other qubit types. While the technology is still in the experimental phase, if Microsoft succeeds, it could leapfrog many competitors. Microsoft's Azure Quantum Platform also integrates quantum computing with cloud services, positioning the company as a major platform provider in the emerging quantum space. Intel, known mostly for its dominance in the CPU market, is also making quiet but steady progress in quantum research. They're focusing on silicon-based qubits, leveraging decades of expertise in chip manufacturing. Intel's approach could allow for easier scaling and mass production of quantum chips, bringing costs down and making the technology more accessible. Beyond the tech giants, several specialized quantum companies are going public or are already trading. One of the most well-known is IonQ. IonQ builds quantum computers using trapped ion technology, which uses individual charged atoms as qubits. Their systems are accessible via the cloud, and the company has partnerships with major cloud providers like Amazon Web Services and Microsoft Azure. IonQ has become one of the first pure-play quantum companies that public investors can buy into. While it's still early days, the company has bold goals to scale its systems over the next decade. Another name is Rigetti Computing. Rigetti builds superconducting quantum processors and offers a cloud-based platform called Quantum Cloud Services. While smaller than giants like IBM or Google, Rigetti has been an early mover and has attracted significant venture capital. It went public through a SPAC merger, giving retail investors access to a high-risk, high-reward quantum bet. 
D-Wave is a Canadian company that's taken a different approach with its quantum annealing systems, which are specialized for optimization problems. While some debate whether D-Wave systems are true quantum computers in the same sense as gate-based systems, they've nonetheless built commercially available machines and attracted major corporate partners. Now, here's the million-dollar question. Is quantum computing the next AI? And are these stocks the next NVIDIA? The answer is maybe, but with a very long time horizon. Quantum computing today is where classical computing was in the 1950s. The hardware is huge, expensive, and highly experimental. The error rates are high, the qubit counts are low, and we're still figuring out how to program these machines effectively. It's an incredibly exciting field, but it's also extremely early stage. While AI has already transformed industries and generated massive revenues, quantum is still in the research and development phase. That means the investment case is fundamentally different. Investing in quantum stocks today is like investing in semiconductor companies before the microprocessor revolution. There will be breakthroughs, failures, acquisitions, and probably bankruptcies along the way. Some of today's leaders might dominate the future. Others might get crushed by competitors we don't even know about yet. The technology risk is enormous and the timelines are uncertain. But for investors with a long-term mindset and a taste for risk, quantum offers a fascinating opportunity. If quantum computing succeeds, it could reshape industries as diverse as pharmaceuticals, energy, transportation, finance, and cybersecurity. The winners of the quantum race could become trillion-dollar companies or transform existing tech giants into even more dominant forces. There's also the possibility that quantum computing accelerates AI itself. Quantum machine learning is a rapidly growing field that aims to use quantum processors to speed up AI training and inference. Imagine combining the data processing power of quantum with the pattern recognition abilities of AI. We could see breakthroughs in areas we can't even imagine yet. That's why companies like NVIDIA are themselves paying close attention to quantum computing. They know that today's GPUs might eventually be complemented or even challenged by quantum processors. For retail investors, the key is to understand the difference between hype and reality. Quantum computing is incredibly hyped right now, with media headlines promising a revolution just around the corner. The truth is, we're still years, maybe decades, away from widespread quantum adoption. That doesn't mean you shouldn't invest. It just means you should invest with your eyes open, treating quantum stocks as part of a speculative, high-risk slice of your portfolio. A balanced approach might involve owning shares of large tech companies with quantum divisions, like IBM, Google, Microsoft, or Intel, which have diversified businesses and can weather the ups and downs of quantum research. Alternatively, if you're more risk-tolerant, you might allocate a small portion to pure-play quantum stocks like IonQ, Rigetti, or D-Wave, understanding that these are moonshots. They could either deliver massive returns or go to zero. It's also worth paying attention to the broader ecosystem. Companies developing quantum software, quantum-resistant cryptography, or quantum sensors might offer interesting opportunities. Startups in these areas are often private today, but as the industry matures, more will go public, giving investors additional ways to get exposure. Another factor to watch is government investment. Quantum computing has become a geopolitical priority, with countries like the United States, China, Canada, and members of the European Union pouring billions into quantum research. Governments recognize that quantum supremacy has military, economic, and strategic implications. This funding could accelerate breakthroughs and shape which companies and countries lead the quantum era. At the end of the day, quantum computing is one of the most fascinating technological frontiers we've ever seen. It challenges our understanding of physics, computation, and even reality itself. It promises to solve problems we once thought were impossible. But it's also a field where the path from lab to market is long, uncertain, and full of surprises. If you're looking for the next NVIDIA, quantum stocks might hold some clues. But remember, NVIDIA's rise was powered by years of innovation, strategic pivots, and perfect timing with the AI boom. Finding the next NVIDIA in the quantum space will require patience, deep research, and a willingness to ride out volatility. Invest wisely, stay curious, and keep an eye on this space. Because the quantum revolution might be closer than you think, and when it arrives, it won't just change technology, it will change everything.